Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm back in North Wales and I'm looking for some secret waterfalls. I recently got this book that was written and put together by Emma Marshall and it's called Wild Swimming Walks um, 28 River and Waterfall Days Out in Snowdonia. Um, some of them are pretty well-known ones, others are a lot more hidden. And today we're going to be doing walk number 23, which is one of the more strenuous ones in the book. So I'm just having a little stop and working out where on the OS map we need to go to find these waterfalls. I was planning on wild swimming today, but as you can see, it's a pretty grey, misty day. I've still got my stuff, so when we get there, we'll see how I feel. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You could see that properly but that was a ringlet butterfly and something I'm actually doing this year on all of my walks is I'm taking part in the big butterfly count which is an app um, well it's a project run by the I think it's the butterfly trust but I'll put the link below to the charity I've been a member for a few years and every year they encourage citizen scientists to go out and kind of use this app and count butterflies that they see on their walks just to kind of get a good idea of you know the state of nature how many butterflies there are what types there are things like that so i'm making an effort to do that on every single walk and just make sure that i'm logging the butterflies i see so, yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's quite fun, especially, I can imagine if you've got children. I am a child at heart. Uh, it's quite a nice thing to do if you do get out in nature, just kind of sit and stop and um, see what butterflies and moths you can see. So, I think I found the first of the secret waterfalls and um, secret wild swim spots but this rain is absolutely torrential I don't really know what to do I'm just hiding under this bush I don't think it will stop it doesn't look like it's going to I don't know whether just to carry on because I'm already wet or if I should go back or if I should go to the river I'm not sure the exact spot in the book. I think it might be further up there. But I'm going to check back down and see if there's somewhere to get in. I'm determined to have a wild swim. So I think this is the waterfall. Well, one of them mentioned in the book. Um, quite difficult to kind of get down. Um, I kind of want to go over there actually, um, I am soaking wet, so I might just walk through the river and then get things in there. Don't worry, it's not sponsored or anything. I do, I just, um, just really like the, like, CBD drinks, so I don't really drink, so it's quite, like, a nice thing to have sometimes. So it's like a soft drink, have one of those. I can get a bit anxious as well, so it's nice to, to have one. Unfortunately, the rain is coming back, so I'm going to get in, get out, get dry, and put my dry clothes on, I think. So I 
we've been for a bit of a dip but it's a lot colder than I thought it would be and yeah so it was quite difficult getting in I didn't manage to swim over to the waterfall it's very slimy as well um, but yeah it's a lot colder and now I'm very very wet all my things are absolutely soaking so I'm gonna get dry really quickly and yeah then maybe get moving and have my trip back in the car <laughs> I've got a few miles to walk back to the car, so um, yeah, today's actually where the video, <laughs> this is it, this is the video, <laughs> nothing else is, well, might be a bit of chitter chatter, but this is it, we came, we wild swim, I'm not going up into the mountains, I'm freezing cold, I'm soaking wet, <laughs> and I'm going to walk back to the car. <laughs> this is the reality of Britain in July. <laughs> always have this is why you have always have warm clothing in your bag that's warm and dry got merino wool on and got the fleece on for the drive home. I had a nice time today and I'm glad I came but I'm also glad that I got back in the car and came back when I did because the rain is just torrential. So the book that I was following, the route, well the path that I was following today and the route it came from this book here. Um, so this was written by Emma Marshall and it's Walton Walks in Snowdonia. So it's 28 lake, river and waterfall days out and it's just all these different routes, kind of their history, um, the OS map you'd need, kind of how to get into the water. It's just a really really lovely book if you um, are interested in coming to Wales or you come here regularly I think I'd really recommend this if you're looking for routes because yeah some of them are, some of them are quite popular ones but there's also quite a few that are very very off the beaten track and that's something I'm trying to find a little bit more at the moment because I've actually done a lot of the walking routes like the popular ones now in the area so I'm kind of looking for more hidden ones and things where it's not so obvious and you know new places and stuff so I absolutely love this book and I also often use the Wild Whales Guide as well to find things, uh, whether that's kind of in local information, places to eat, so I always use that as well, which is very good. I think they're a series because you can get them for all over the UK. I'm not sure if there's a couple for abroad as well. Um, I'm sure I've seen one in the series for somewhere in Spain, uh, but yeah, would recommend. So if you've watched this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And please leave me a comment below if you have. I'd also really like to hear, I have got a lot of video ideas coming up and things that I want to film and you know places and routes that I find that I, I'd like to go. But if there is anything in spe like specifically that you'd want to see or anywhere that you know think, oh, that would be a really great idea to go there then feel free to leave me a comment below as well. I was also considering doing an updated kind of what I've got in my bag because that's really changed from a year ago when I started. So I might do an updated kind of what's in my rucksack 
on kind of like a day micro adventure as well so let me know if that's something you'd like to see in the comments below <laughs> Mm-hmm.